G'day everyone, just to extend our support and resistance lines, um, there's also an opportunity to draw a zone. So what a zone does, it kind of, I call it a bit of a no trade zone or a zone of interest, depending on how it's used. But if you look at the support slash resistance line being here, what you can do on TradingView is use your rectangle tool and highlight a an area that covers the wicks. So pretty much what you're looking for is where is it that these wicks are coming down to? So you can see here that I've catered for that one. Now this is the current market price on Bitcoin as per the time of recording. But if you pull this zone back, chances are that eventually, and I realize that this is a, a fairly long time with Bitcoin, but if you pull it back, you'll probably find that you will run into another zone similar. Now what happens with these coins is that, I look at that, there it is. So what happens is that these zones are, Areas where buyers and sellers are kind of doing an arm wrestle. So if you think about an arm wrestle being at the top uh, up here, and if one hand gets the upper hand, then usually um, you can win the arm wrestle. So if you think about trading a little bit like that within these zones, then you might have some success. So what you've got here is these zones, and you can see that it's kind of popping in and out of these zones, trying to decide whether or not the buyers and sellers are winning. So at the moment, you might think, okay, well, I'm, I'm at a resistance zone here. So, uh, you know, do you take your take do you take your short from where it is, or or wait for it to come back, obviously, and retest? But then when it comes through, do you look at that zone being something you consider? So, um, this is just a little bit of an introduction for you with respect to zones. So feel free to do a little bit more research, have a little bit of a play, um, see if you can find other areas. So, uh, if you if you look across any any chart really it doesn't have to be bitcoin you can see that there might be an area of support or resistance just like this and you might find that you indeed can find a different zone so the zones are specific to the our area of the market that you're trading in which case people use them as areas of interest areas of no trade uh, depending on your style and who you are and how you use them um, definitely worth highlighting and what you can use then is you can use these zones uh, if you if you're drawing like that just be a little bit careful you can use these zones as your target areas so for example if the market was to come up and through and retest then you know perhaps long term I mean obviously there's there's various market structure through here and things like that but long term you might be looking at this as your next point of interest so have a little bit of a play, um, do some research on it and good luck. Happy days.